Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soper on wash day. <laughs> That's the reason why I have this on my head. Um, I figured while I'm waiting, um, I actually have rice water in my hair, which for those of you who don't know anything about rice water, look it up for your hair. It actually is really, really good for your hair. So I'm, while I'm letting this sit, I actually had um, one of you ask me about uh, the oils and butters that I use and where I get them from. So I figured since I have to master batch anyway, then I would just show you guys. So I just got like the deal of the century and I was actually on Facebook and that's how I found out about it. So for those of you who use rice bran oil, I normally get mine from Bulk Apothecary and um, I think it's seven and a half. Let me think. You know what? Let me just get it though. <laughs> okay, so let me look under here without busting my gut. Oh Lord, I need to get to the gym. Okay, my towel's falling off, so you guys won't be seeing me again. But down here, yeah, I get. I was wrong. This came from Nature's Garden. I thought I got this from Bulk Apothecary. Okay, so yeah, I'm all over the place. This did come from Bulk. Um, and it's seven and a half pounds, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was like $25. <sighs> yeah, but anywho, doesn't matter. So, uh, what I end up doing, I was on Facebook um, last night, and mm, today's date is, oh, geez, that's heavy. The struggle is real, y'all. Okay, hold on, my towel's falling off. Okay, today's date is the 15th of January 2018, so you still have time. My local Lowe's actually had 30 of these. I looked them up. So, what this is, they sell around Christmas, uh, you see that 100% rice bran oil. And the brand is Rice Land, and it's used for turkey frying. Okay, so nobody's going to buy it just because the holiday is over. So, it was actually... The regular price was $25.97, I believe. Well, it was actually, on, it was $34, and then it went on sale for $25. And so I asked for the manager. Now, here's the thing. Let me bring you guys back to me. Here's the thing. Um, some people, some soapers that uh, said that they got it from their local Lowe's, they had no problem with the managers, but uh, some said their managers weren't going for it. So, of course, long story short, um, I asked some guy and he didn't know what the hell he was talking about and he was just like, well, let me call the manager. I'm like, can you please just have him come over here? So he goes, well, just tell me what it's about and then I'll let him know. Of course, he calls the manager and tell him I want a discount. And the manager's like, um, yeah, if you can get a Lowe's credit card, we'll give you 5%. I'm like, boy, bye. So, <laughs> um, one of his colleagues is just like, uh, he knows nothing. Just go up to customer service and ask them. And, um see what they say so I did I went to customer service um, again you run into the person when you ask for the manager please don't tell me well I'm not the manager but what can I help you with I'm, I want the manager for a reason anyway that's kind of annoying so she goes I'm the head cashier can I help you now I want the manager girl so anyway <laughs> she calls the manager up there and I'm just like okay so um, yep on line in the soaping community um, everybody's talking about all over the state at your local Lowe's how this oil um, if you ask you can get a discount on it so I want to buy three so can I get a discount he goes oh no you know I can't really do that and he goes well what are you trying to get them for us it's 15 each because I heard some soapers get them for 10 and some get it for 15 so I figured I'm gonna try to so he goes oh no I can't do that I can give it to you for five so I was like, um, no. <laughs> and then I was about to walk out. He's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm positive. And he's just like, oh, you can tell he really was rethinking it. He goes, but see, you know, it's like my markup and it's telling me this whole bunch of stuff I don't care nothing about. I'm like, man, you don't give it to me for a discount or buy. So um, I'm like, give them, to, give them to me for $10 off. He's like, oh, I can't do that. So we did, agreed on eight. So, which I mean, I wasn't mad at it because I got three of these. Um, there's one here. Gabe actually opened that one. And then I have this one. So I got three. 
for come on camera $53.91 and that's really really good considering how much this stuff normally costs so let me actually look on bulk and then I'll tell you what the price of this one was okay so yeah I was wrong but it is seven and a half pounds oops I forgot my computer's touch screen seven and a half pounds for $18.89 and that's mind you you still have to pay for shipping now I do love myself some bulk apothecary but if I can get it cheaper and save myself from shipping guess what girl I'm gonna do it so <laughs> since I have to master batch it anyway um as I pull out let me turn it around as I pull out the oils and butters and all that stuff that I need, I will be checking in and telling you guys where I get it from. Please do excuse the mess around here. I'm cleaning up and I know a lot of you have asked me for a soap room tour too. I will give you that. Just let me get it together just a little bit. Make it just a little bit more appealing. Okay? Alright. See you in a minute. Alright. Decided to pop in. Um... So, when I'm doing my master batching, and I did a master batch video, a lot of you have already seen it, but when I do my master batching, I start with the least amount of oils or whatever it may be that I have, just to be sure I'm not going to run out when I get to my last batch. So, I knew it was very low on my sunflower oil, and this is the brand that I use, and um, be sure, please be sure to read the labels of the products that you use, like your oils. Because, honey, let me tell you, you can go to one of these stores and get yourself, because uh, I've done it, and get yourself um, uh, olive oil and then read it. It's an olive oil and sunflower and some other oil blend. So, please be sure to read your label. I like, I said also, I like uh, supporting my local small businesses like Indian markets, Asian markets, Middle Eastern markets, places like that. So, that's where I get my sunflower oil. And if you look here, I don't know if my camera is picking that up, but it is pure olive oil. There's nothing else added. I'll keep saying olive. Sunflower oil. There's nothing else in here besides sunflower oil. And this is um, ooh, five liters. It's all over my hands. And it costs me $14.99. So I really, really do like this uh, sunflower oil. It's, it's nice. Really, really nice. And it works well with my recipe. Now, um, I'm going to talk about my lye. I used to get my lye from um, another smaller uh, business online, which I really, 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 really enjoy getting my lye from them just because um, I love supporting small businesses. So, but I'm at the point where I am using far too much lye. They had a really good price. Let me take you off the tripod. Alright guys, um, so here is the lie that I have. This is 50 pounds. I haven't opened it yet um, just because I'm going to get to that. But I got this also from Bulk Apothecary. And with the shipping, it came to $86. But, I mean, that's not bad because it's really, um, like I said, 50 pounds of lie. I'm going to have that for a while instead of constantly running out of lie. Now... I do want to say this because I still keep getting these uh, comments um, since I made my how I master batch my lie, I mean master batch a video about using glass containers. Yes, I still do use glass containers. Yes, I will continue to use glass containers. Um, and the reason I'm putting this out here because I already know if I do show you guys how I I mean, me doing my lie, which I probably won't just because I already did it, but I'm going to put it out there anyway. Uh, I know I'm going to get a comment saying, oh, you can't use glass with lie. Okay, so let me clear this up. There's a difference between will and can. Um, if you do your research, you'll find that it says it can cause your glass to break. It didn't say it will cause your glass to break. And as far as etching, um, that takes years and years and years to happen. You use what you want. But I like using my glass containers. They work for me. You use what works best for you. I'm not being a turd by saying this. It's just I keep getting this so many times. I actually got a comment not too long ago saying that, oh, don't use glass because putting lye water in glass will, will 
cause a huge explosion. Now that's just a bit far-fetched. As a soap maker, I would never, ever, ever practice anything that would cause harm to myself or to my customers. So um, if I felt or knew that glass uh, would be an issue with my soap making processes, of course I would have stopped using it years ago. I've been using it ever since I've been making soap. And again, I've never ever come across a single edge glass. And I know there can be the comment of, well, how can you see it's microscopic? Well, here's another thing. And the reason why I, I know I just really hate doing stuff like this, but I'm kind of getting sick of hearing, you can't do that. You know, I don't know everything there is about soap making. Sure don't, none of us do. Cause again, it's always changing, but I do know this. Some people don't know that I do actually have a day job outside of soap making. Soap making is not my only job. I do have a career in the field of engineering and before I got into that um, I was into circuit boards where um, I made them so I am very very educated uh, and skilled in chemical compounds and um, stru structural integrity as well and I do have access to microscopes that zoom in a hundred times plus and because i am a soap maker i have the ability to take things that i use for soap making to work and inspect it because i am also a certified inspector and i've been in this field of work for over 15 years so um there is not a hint or trace of etching in any glass that i use um, I'm smart enough to know that because that's just like using stainless steel or plastic. Um, I'm smart enough to know to put my containers either inside one of these containers or in a sink while I'm doing my life because accidents do happen. You can knock over stainless steel containers and plastic as well. So um, it's just all about using safety precautions. Still, if you use um, plastic, that's even better. You know, I suggest you do. But I'm just doing what works best for me. So no people are trying to be helpful. I really, really do understand that and I appreciate it because again, I don't know everything. Okay, so my castor oil. Again, okay, as you can see, there's going to be a, a trend here. <laughs> I shop a lot from Boca Apothecary. Um, my castor oil, um, I honestly, this is eight pounds. I get it from whoever has the best price at the time. And most time I do my shopping for my oils in bulk. I try to stick with the same company because shipping is very expensive. So that's why you see um, my rice brand and my uh, castor both came from Bulk Apothecary because at the time they did have the best prices. Okay, um, let me see my olive oil. I'm gonna grab that next because I was buying, and you guys know I used to get it from, I'm trying not to chop off my arm here. <laughs> talking about safe practices um where did i get this from oh my word my olive oil where did i get this from i want to say the chemistry store but i'm not sure i have two of these no 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 let me let me check been the chemistry store but I keep leaning towards Bulk Apothecary again I'm not sure but um I got two 20 pound containers and they were a really really good price I think I paid like 50 for both because they were on sale and that's why I'm feeling like it was Bulk Apothecary but um yeah um I really do like this and this one is olive oil pomace and I was really against pomace because the last pomace I got was like really really dark but this is more of a golden color and during my research <laughs> never stopped learning I found that pomace is actually uh, more clear than actual olive oil it can be even clearer so um, I've seen pomace that had a lot of grit in the bottom I got this one I said you know what what the hell a bit let's try it out and I'm very very happy with it so I got 40 pounds I believe it was for like 50 something bucks so I'll bring you back all right next is my stearic acid and as you can see it came from Super Choice um and duh should have bought some more <laughs> I totally didn't remember that I didn't rebuy any but this should take care of all of these so um 
Oh, and also, if you do, <laughs> and has real dumb, I really need to remember, I can look at my invoices and find out where I bought the big containers of olive oil from because um, after filling up all my containers, that's how much I got left. So, um, this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 loaves. But, yeah, so I need to restock on that. But, yeah, Soper's Choice is where I got this from, and it was a little bit of nothing. Um... I don't have the price on this, but it, Syria acid is pretty inexpensive, so it's nothing that you gotta like really, really dig deep into looking. I at least I hope not. He's charging a ridiculous amount of money for stearic acid, and this was eight pounds. <sighs> it couldn't have been any more than I don't, I don't know, maybe ten bucks of that. I don't even think it was that. It's been a while, but uh, yeah, so that's where I got that from. So let me go ahead and fill these up, and then I'll move on to the next. Okay, dog. So next, I use um, perm, perm, <laughs> palm kernel flakes, and I got those from Crafters Choice. Nope, Wholesale Supplies Plus. Um, when they had a sale, I think it was their free shipping sale, so I got five pounds. Well, actually, I bought ten pounds. And what I normally do is just transfer them to this bucket here. And um, like I said, I only buy from um, Wholesale Supplies Plus when I have free shipping because honestly, to me. They have good prices and I know it's free shipping if you if you spend X amount of dollars but once you really compare prices to other companies and this is nothing against them because I do clearly I shop from them but um, if you really look at it and compare them to other prices um, the markup is kind of like equal what you would pay somewhere else so when it's free shipping um, then yeah it makes sense for me to go ahead and buy it so that's what I do buy from them. So I'm going to add that and then I'll bring you back for the next one. Okay, so next on to cocoa butter. And I keep these little containers just because they come in handy. If I don't want my stuff in boxes or bags, I'll just transfer it to here. Now this cocoa butter came in a 20 pound box. Um, this is the very end of it. And it took me a thousand years to break this up. It felt like <laughs> it's last me almost two years. Um, no, about a year and a half. Yeah, it's last me about a year and a half. So, um, it's been good to me. And I don't have a specific supplier that I'd like to go to to get, um, my cocoa butter from. It just depends on who has the best price and the best price on shipping. I've gotten it from eBay. Um, I actually had a seller that I got it from consistently on eBay because they had such a good product, but they went out of business. And then um, I want to say I got this one from Soper's Choice. I do believe, yeah, I'm pretty positive I got this from Soper's Choice because um, I remember buying something with the stearic acid. Definitely, you know what? It was Soper's Choice. Soper's, eh, can't talk. Soper's Choice. <laughs> where I got this cocoa butter from so more than likely I'll buy it from them again and it's crazy like when you master batch like I do in such large amounts um how fast stuff leaves <laughs> now by the time I'm done with this all of these I'm going to need to reorder this because this is the last bit but you really can't complain if you have to buy it once a year or once every year and a half because I always buy my stuff in bulk if you're a newbie, please don't buy your stuff in bulk, <laughs> you know. Um, start small, and again, with a lot of these companies that I buy from, you can still get it in smaller quantities. I just get it in bigger quantities because um, I have a full-scale business. So, all right, um, we'll move on to the next after this. All right, now the, down to the last two things. Uh, again, as you guys can see, I really am a big fan of Book Apothecary just because, like I said, they have really good prices. Um, so... I bought two of these and these are 35 pounds each um this is a coconut oil 76 do your research of the difference of it um and my shea butter let me go over here i just got stuff everywhere stacked <laughs> i buy my shea butter locally um this is 25 pounds i bought two of these yeah two of these uh from a local place um, they sell all natural stuff. They don't sell everything that I need, but the one things the things that I can get from them I do buy. Um, I believe he charged me I'm trying to think. 
it was 50 pounds for I think I paid a hundred bucks no 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 no. I paid 70 bucks because he tried to charge me a hundred bucks and I was like bye he was like okay <laughs> so yeah so that's it guys um that is all that I use and I hope this was helpful to some of you doesn't matter if you're a new soap maker or old I mean hey I love sharing prices and if you guys know places that sell cheaper than the places that I bought for please do share because uh yeah I want to save some money too and squatting just really took the wind out of me that is terrible somebody need to get to the gym so <laughs> all right loves that's it that's all um if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful be sure to give that big old thumbs up um again I don't want to have no arguments with nobody I don't want to hear no arguments from anybody you know let's just be peaceful and help one another and be kind to one another I just had to put that out there because you guys have no idea how many times I get told about using glass and I get kind of sick of hearing it you know you can let stuff roll until you're just like okay that's enough but um I just put it like this you know anything you want to tell me if you're doing it in a helpful light out of concern or because you want to spread your knowledge I'm always open for that but when you come at me nasty eh, I ain't too cool with that and I get that more than not so um, if you're new to my channel hello <laughs> I'm so freaking happy you found me I am very very happy that you just decided to stick around I hope you learned something if you did be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe because I would love to have you as part of my stinking awesome crew um, I need to finish getting this done so I can get my hair washed We'll rinse it's already clean you just got to rinse the rice water out and trust me um i know it sounds weird and gabe's always like why are you putting food items in your hair <laughs> but if you're going to take the natural approach i try to do it with most all things um yep um a lot of stuff in my fridge i use in my hair like honey and all that fun stuff but anyway yeah look it up if you're having problems with your hair breaking look into that because it is really really good and it's very simple and easy to do um, and be sure to hit that like button, okay? Bye, guys!